But selling fast is always changing as a reseller. So since it is 2023, we're about two months in, I thought, let's take a pause and look back over my sales this year at things that are selling in three days or less. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video today. I'm just gonna share my sales from this year that have sold very quickly. So first I'll start with sales that have sold in within three days, then two days, then one day, and then same day. So I have 55 sales to go over, so let's just jump into it. On this list, there are brands that I had never previously sold before, and I think it's just a really good idea to constantly stay up to date with what is selling fast. Okay, so let's, without further ado, let's jump into it. The very first sale that sold in three days was this Wellen head lens sweater on eBay. It's a chunky knit sweater that's men's brand. Wellen is a really, really good bowler brand to know. This is the first time I've ever found it and I found it at the bins. I got it for 92 cents. I had it listed for 90 and I sold it for 60 plus 7.99 shipping, which gave me a gross profit of $45.83 and it sold in only three days. So very, very happy with that sale. And definitely men's bolo brands are something that I'm really learning a lot of in this past year. And Wellen is a good one. If you want me to do a video on men's bolo brands, let me know in the comments down below. Okay. Next is this Toad & Co airbrush long sleeve shirt. Toad & Co is a brand I used to never pick up. And so I actually picked this up when um, I was kind of desperate for inventory and I was like, okay, whatever, Toad & Co sells pretty well, I'll go ahead and pick it up. Got it at the bins for 79 cents. I listed it for $30 and it sold um, full price on eBay, which on my eBay sales, full price sell actually 10% off because I'm constantly running a 10% off sale. So 10% uh, off $30 plus $5.99 shipping. And that gave me a gross profit of $23.37 after fees and shipping and all of that. So um, that's a really good gross profit for a Toad & Co button down. Um, so I was really happy with that. And again, only sold in three days. Toad & Co is a bread and butter brand I'm gonna be picking up more of. Speaking of bread and butter brands, this is one of my favorites, Nick and Zoe. This was a Poshmark sale. It was the Champion Cardigan um, in a size small, which is great because typically I like larger sizes of Nick and Zoe, but um, this one was a size small and sold really fast. I had it listed for 40 and then actually it sold in a bundle, so it sold for 25. That gave me a gross profit of $18.42 and again, sold in three days. So Nick and Zoe is a really good bread and butter brand. I love selling. Okay, I actually sold this one twice. <laughs> I sold it in a bundle and then um, one of the items in that bundle had a flaw on Poshmark and so the whole bundle got returned back to me and um, then I sold it again on eBay but it was this Michael Michael Kors genuine leather moto jacket quilted. Got this at the bins for a dollar and nine cents and it was listed at 435 and someone sent me an offer on eBay for 75 plus 9.99 shipping which I just went ahead and accepted because hey I got it at the bins and that was a really fast return um, and gave me a gross profit of $59.40 so three days till sold very happy uh, Michael Michael Kors is also a brand I've been having a lot of good luck with so definitely a bread and butter brand that's not anything to write home about but it's a seller so i'm going to continue to pick it up okay this is a brand that i had actually never heard of before it's such a unique category it is basically a luxury pet carrier brand and the brand is max bone one word max bone i found this at the bins just kind of sitting on top of things and pristine condition and so it's like this seems really nice looked it up and um these things retail for a lot of money so this was the max bone signature carry all tote got it at the bins for a dollar oh nine i listed it for seventy dollars because these retail for over a hundred dollars and i sold for 49 so what is that 30 percent off um and that gave me a gross profit of $36.39 and it sold in only three days. So that was a great Poshmark sale, a great Bolo brand that I had never heard about or even thought to look up. And so if you're ever thrifting and you come across the brand Maxbone, uh, now you know, pick it up because it can be good money and sell fast. Okay, 
Next is a brand I love picking up, pick it up all the time, and it is um, Lulu's. I actually, in the beginning of my reselling career, never picked up Lulu's, and I started picking it up, and it just sells so fast and so consistently. There's just a really large Lulu's customer base, and they like to buy it. Uh, that brand, you know, resold as well. So this was a Lulu's Your Tool Black Floral Print Maxi Dress. Did I show this in a haul or something? I don't know. I can't remember. I got it at the bins for a dollar and eight cents. I had it listed for thirty dollars, and it sold full price on eBay. Again, ten percent off of thirty dollars plus six ninety nine, so thirty three ninety nine, and that gave me a gross profit of $23.08 and again sold after only three days over on eBay. Okay my next two sales are from a brand that we resellers of course know and love and that is Lululemon. The first was a pair of Lululemon Wonder Under mid-rise tights or leggings in a size 4. I got these at the bins for 79 cents and I had them listed for 40. They sold for 30% off for $28.00 with this kind of shipping, which gave me a gross profit of $19.89. And it sold again for three days. Of course, you might be noticing that a lot of these items are selling for 30% off. And that is because I use Posture VA. And Posture VA is my automation software that I use on Poshmark. It shares my closet for me on a scheduled basis, so I don't have to think about that. And it also sends offers to likers. So anytime someone likes something in my closet, they automatically receive a 30% off offers to likers. I don't have to think about that either. And it generates a ton of sales for me. And so if you haven't tried out an automation software or you want to try a different one, uh, I definitely recommend Posture VA. You get to try it out for two weeks free. And then if you use my code MOGIBETH, M-O-G-I-B-E-T-H, you'll get 20% off your first subscription purchase. So go ahead and try it if you haven't yet and just try it out for two weeks and I think you'll see a big difference in your sales. Okay, next is another Lululemon sale. Like I said, this is a Lululemon Swiftly Tech short sleeve top in white size 12. Uh, I love picking up the Swiftly tanks, short sleeves, long sleeves at the bins. They just sell quickly and consistently, not for a ton of money, but there's definitely a good customer base seeking out that style by Lululemon. So I got it at the bins for 99 cents and I listed it for 38, sold 30% off for $26 with discounted shipping that gave me a gross profit of $18.09 and again after only three days so super fast good sale happy about that one okay another bread and butter brand that I really like selling is cut from the cloth if I see it at the bins in excellent condition I almost always pick it up and these were cut from the cloth Katie boyfriend jeans and blue size 10 which is a really good size for cut from the cloth got them at the bins for a dollar and four cents i had them listed for 20 and then they sold for 30 percent off for 14 dollars really fast in three days which gave me a gross profit of eight dollars and 29 cents i can't remember why i list these so low they might have been flawed but yeah i typically will list cut from the cloth in the 25 to 40 dollar range depending on the style i'm still happy with such a quick sale Okay, next is a brand I love selling, and it is Figs. Figs is a high-quality medical scrubs brand, so if you ever go to your doctors and you notice people wearing really nice scrubs, it's probably Figs. I now cannot help but just see Figs every time I go to the doctor or anywhere like that. Um, I'm spending time at the hospital, you know? But anyway, these were a pair of Zamora jogger scrub pants that I got at the Benz and they sold on Mercari. Got them for $1.14, listed them for $28 and they sold for full price on Mercari for $28, which after shipping and everything, that gave me a gross profit of $16.27. And yep, they sold in three days. Okay, next is a pair of jeans I probably wouldn't pick up, but I don't know, maybe it's worth picking up. Um, I received them in a mystery box, it sold super fast, and it sold on Poshmark. The brand is Fashion Nova, fast fashion brand, but I mean, I'm actually kind of finding that certain Fashion Nova pieces are potentially worth picking up, like I've sold a pair of overalls, I've sold a really cute sweater and a whatnot sale, 
And so, um, maybe, maybe I'm gonna pick up more Fashion Nova, I don't know, we'll see. But these are a pair of distressed skinny jeans, and a plus size 1X. And I paid $3.78 for them, had them listed for 15, they sold it for 10, which, you know, my gross profit was $1.55, so I'm definitely not telling you <laughs> to go pick up uh, Fashion Nova, but it did sell fast, so I wanted to definitely make sure to include it in here, because I'm sharing all of my sales that sold fast. All right, and then this was actually from a recent Thrift With Me video, which I'll link up on the screen, but it was an Eileen Fisher jersey pocket dress. I thrifted for $9.99. It did have some flaws, so I listed it lower and it sold quickly. Uh, I listed it for $35 and it sold for 30% off for $24, uh, which gave me a gross profit of $7.49 after shipping and fees and all of that. So. Really quick sale. If it, I noticed the flaws, I probably wouldn't have picked it up, but um, it was a size large. It was a really cute style, and I love selling Eileen Fisher. Okay, next was another eBay sale, and it was a pair of Bonobos Slim Straight Jeans in a size 33-32. I always pick up Bonobos when I see it at the bins. It's just, or I'm not pronouncing that right. Bonobos. Is that right? <laughs> I just call it Bonobos. <laughs> I know that's wrong. I, please correct me in the comment section. <laughs> Sorry. <I can't. laughs> I don't know. It's just one of those things. It's like, I like I like it pronounced Bonobos. Anyway, okay. I picked it up at the bins for $1.08. Listed for $40. And it sold on eBay with shipping for $34.45. So my uh, gross profit was $20.35 which is great, and I sold in three days. So I was really, really happy with that Bonobos. I will say that not all Bonobos or Bonobos or whatever you want to call it, uh, sells quickly. Sometimes it takes like a month or two or three to sell, but it just sells really consistently for me. So I wouldn't say that brand is necessarily flying off the shelves unless you get just the right style, but just wanted to preface that in case you're gonna go pick up that brand and expect it to sell super fast. Not always the case, but sometimes the case. However, I will say, although it's not always selling in one to three days, this brand typically sells pretty quickly for me and that is Athleta. And this was such a cute jacket. It was the Canopy Parachute Jacket. I really wanted to keep this one, but I didn't. And I picked it up the bins for 95 cents. Uh, I had it listed for 60 and I received an offer for $38, which I went ahead and accepted. And that gave me a gross profit of $29.45. And yep, sold in three days. Then these some anthropology pieces just have a following or are just really popular and can sell really really well and it's hard to really know what those pieces are until you come across them and check comps uh, because of course anthropology just, just creates so many different styles but um this is one to know about i guess and uh, pay attention to because it doesn't necessarily like look anything spectacular but it had a ton of interest and it sold really well so it was a pair of anthropology mave the colette pants so if i ever see these again i'm definitely picking them up even at goodwill um and these were in a size 30. picked them up at the bins for 96 cents had them listed for 68 based off of comps and they sold for 49 dollars in three days so a 50 dollar anthropology pant sell you know that's great. And that gave me a gross profit of $36.52. So definitely a style by anthropology to know. Okay, the next sale was actually one I got through online arbitrage. I purchased this from ThreadUp a long time ago and it's sitting in my laundry room for the longest time. But it was this Alice McCall Flower Girl midi dress, really, really cute. I got it on ThreadUp for $39. And I had it listed for 150 and it sold over on eBay for I think $89 plus $7.99 shipping. So um, I could have gotten more for it, I think, uh, but it sold so fast that I just decided to let it go after I received that offer for that amount and made a gross profit $40.17. So not bad, sold quickly and definitely got a really good 
uh, return on that investment even though it took me a while because it was just sitting <laughs> so if you need some motivation to list the items just sitting in your laundry room or in your death pile or whatever do it you could be you know profiting 40 plus dollars on those things all right next was another Ben's find it was this adidas wanderlust jumpsuit so cute another piece that i wanted to keep for myself but i didn't and it had a cost of goods of $1.12. I listed it for $60 and then it sold for 40% off during one of my 40% off sales that I run on Sunday. I do that using Posture V8 as well. And uh, that had, and that gave me a gross profit of $25.96. Okay, the very last sale I had that happened in three days was this 41 Hawthorne roll tab sleeve tunic top in a size 1x i like to pick up plus size even when it's in brands like 41 hawthorne that i wouldn't necessarily otherwise pick up if it's plus size i'll consider it because especially at the bins because plus size just sells really well so i picked this up for 90 cents and it sold over on ebay for $12.66 plus $5.99 shipping and it gave me a gross profit of $10.63 and it sold after only three days so really really happy with that sale okay so now let's move on to what sold in two days first was a Poshmark sale and it was this Vans off the wall five panel hat Davis was the style name this is actually something I picked up to take to Crossroads and I don't really pick up Vans clothing to resell or hats for that matter. I picked this up to see if Crossroads would take it. They didn't take it, so I just went ahead and listed it. Um, and it sold super fast and had a lot of interest. So um, my cost of goods was a dollar and I had it listed for 24. I think I received an offer for 16 or maybe that was within my 40% off, but sold for 16 and that gave me a gross profit of $10.08. And yeah, sold in two days, so not bad. And then next was also something I got at the bins. It was this new with tag Packed Mallard Waffle Knit Scarf. Packed is a brand that does like yoga pants and leggings, and I think they specialize in organic cotton. Um, yeah, this was 100% organic cotton, and it doesn't retail for a ton of money, but I find that it resells pretty well. I think I've really, I think I've sold it twice now at least. And anyways, when I found a new tag, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It, I got it for a dollar, had it listed for 28 and it received a ton of interest. And really, I think I should have held on to it longer and maybe waited to make more, but I was having a bad sales day. <laughs> so I just went ahead and accepted a 50% off offer for 14. And that gave me a gross profit of $8.33 after only two days. Okay. And so, but yeah, I would say Pact is definitely a brand I want pick up more especially you know new tag pieces or more substantial pieces next was a piece i got through liquidation a long time ago but it was again sitting in my office because i couldn't figure out how to ship it i didn't have a box big enough for it but it was this new tag business and pleasure co holiday beach umbrella and before tomas left because they're actually they were good at this they kind of crafted a box for these I'm not very good at that, but um, I'm probably going to have to figure out how to do it eventually. But anyways, yeah, Business and Pleasure Company is definitely a brand I wouldn't have otherwise known about. They, I guess, sell luxury umbrellas and vacation wear, hard goods. So if you come across it, definitely pick it up or at least look up comps um, because it sold super fast. I had it listed, I got it for $15.65. I had it listed for $165 and it sold for $110, which gave me a gross profit of $52.63 in only two days. So very, very happy. I did, the reason is $52 is because I did have to pay for um, extra shipping weighed nine pounds so i had to pay 18 extra dollars in shipping um on poshmark so if you ever have a package over five pounds on poshmark you can sell it and ship it you just have to pay extra for shipping so i had to do that but it sold super fast so i'm very very happy and still made a really good profit okay this is actually a brand that i covered in my 
baby brand bolo baby bolo brand video uh, which i'll link up on the screen and it's a brand i hadn't come across uh, when i talked about it on this channel and then i came across it at the bins the other day and it is mini rodini and this is a baby scroll bodysuit so cute I was very tempted to keep it for Billy Lou, and Tomas actually told me I should, but I didn't. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because it sold super fast, and it sold Mercari. I got it for 79 cents. I uh, had it listed for 30, and I received an offer for 24, which I accepted, which gave me a gross profit of $15.68. So very, very happy with that. Billy has plenty of bodysuits, so. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, she's not really missing out. She doesn't, she doesn't even know anyway. Okay, so next is a pair of Madewell jeans. I love selling Madewell, especially the curvy fit. So this was a Madewell curvy high rise skinny jean in Carbondale size 31, uh, which is a good size. And this had a cost of goods of a dollar and four cents since I got it from the bins. Let's hit for 40, sold for 40 in two days. Uh, which gave me a gross profit of $29.24. So if you're not picking up Madewell jeans, definitely reconsider it, and especially certain styles like the curvy style. Okay, next is a brand I talked about in my maternity bolo brand list. I'm pretty sure I talked about it in that video. I will link it up on the screen, and it is Kindred Braverly. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain I did, because it is one of my favorite maternity brands uh, to find, especially the bras. And this was one of them. It was a Sublime hands-free pumping and nursing bra. I have a bunch of these personally because I both pump and nurse still, but I have enough where I didn't need to keep this one. Um, I've actually thrifted a bunch too, which is lucky. And I had a friend gift me some when I was pregnant, which was very nice. Um, anyway, this was in a really cute color though, fig. And um, it was in excellent condition. Got it at the bins for 95 cents. Had a listed for 38 and it sold for 30% off for $26, which gave me a gross profit of $18.13. And yeah, sold in two days. So if you do come across Kindred Braverly, especially the nursing and the pumping bras, which you can tell because it has two little snaps on the... Um, band on the armband then um or shoulder band then that's that's the one that has the pumping and nursing and those two really well but then i also pick up other pieces by kindred braverly and uh, I, I pick up everything kindred braverly that i come across especially at the bins if it's in excellent condition okay um next is actually j crew and j crew is surprising me with how well it's selling, especially certain pieces like there are really cute maxi midi dresses and so forth that do well, but blazers continue to do really well by J. Crew, and workwear style pants just continue to do well. They're not selling for a ton of money, but they're selling well. So this was a pair of J. Crew Cameron slim crop pants in a size six, got it at the bins for 96 cents, and had it listed on uh, eBay and Poshmark for 38 but it sold on eBay. I got an offer for $20 plus $7.99 shipping, which I just went ahead and accepted, which gave me a gross profit of $14.84 in just two days. So super happy with that. And I think I actually had a lot of interest on Poshmark with that one in that short amount of time too. So that was great. Okay, next was a Free People New Romantics colorful plaid dress. This was an older style. New Romantics is a line within Free People that uh, does, is more expensive, but this was a very old style, um, but still sold really well. So I just wanted to mention it just in case you come across New Romantics and it's an older style, it still might be worth picking up. Got it at the bins for 72 cents, listed it for 40, sold for 30% off with a posture VA offer for 28. And with this kind of shipping, that gave me a gross profit of $19.96 in just two days so I'm very happy with that and then the next sale is another figs love figs this was a salta performance underscrub top again i got this at the bins for 92 cents i had a listed for 38 and it sold for 30 with discounted shipping so that gave me a gross profit of 21 dollars 36 after only two days so love finding and selling figs then 
Um, these are really cute. I actually featured these in my stain treatment video, which I'll link up on the screen. They're a pair of Everlane the Carpenter Pant in white in a size four. Also got these at the bins. Uh, as y'all can tell, I'm sourcing primarily at the bins. I got it for a dollar and nine cents. I had them listed for 50. They sold again for 30% off Posture VA offer for 35, which gave me a gross profit of $25.19 after two days. And then I have been starting to pick up Cabbie again, and I've been having some luck. I think I talked about how in a brands I'm no longer picking up video, I mentioned Cabbie, and then now I've just started picking up Cabbie, and sometimes certain styles have been surprising me. So this was one of them that sold actually in a bundle. It was a Cabbie Safari dress in medium, Got it at the bins for 79 cents, and I had a list it for 35, and it sold in a bundle, so it sold for about $24.63, which is great, and that gave me a gross profit of $18.34, again, in two days. Okay, this is a men's bolo brand, Buck Mason. I love finding Buck Mason. I went through a period where I found it a bunch, uh, but I just found it once recently this year. And it was a Buck Mason woven button down shirt. This even had a flaw that we repaired on the um, wrist, which we disclosed. Um, I got it at the bins for $1.04. I had it listed for $40. And then I received an offer on Poshmark for $34, which of course I went ahead and accepted, which gave me a gross profit of $24.44. Next uh, item to sell in two days was Athleta. Love Athleta, as I mentioned earlier. These ultra high rise elation tights in a size extra small. So even extra small is selling really fast. I had a cost of goods of a dollar from the bins. I had a list for 45 and then received an offer for 30 in two days, which I accepted, which gave me a gross profit of $21.28. Okay, so those Athleta leggings were actually my last sale to sell within $2. So now we are heading on to what sold within just one day. So I listed it one day and it sold the next day, which you know is every reseller's dream. So, okay, the first on the list is a style by Zara that I mentioned on this channel several times that I don't like selling, uh, but now I am starting to force myself to sell and it's Zara jeans for whatever reason. I just did not like selling Zara jeans, but now forcing myself, especially when they're cute, like this pair, to sell them. And this, so this was a pair of Zara ripped wide leg jeans. Really, really cute. I got it at the bins for a dollar and 12 cents. And I listed it for 40, that's just what I usually am listing Zara jeans, around 30 to 40. And um, received an offer for 25 the next day and just went ahead and accepted it, which gave me a gross profit of $17 and 16 cents, one day sold, that is so great. Next is, this is actually a dress that I got from eBay Princess on Whatnot, and I talked about it in a video recently, and it is this Reformation Ingrid dress. It had a repair that we had to make. I spent 34 bucks on this dress, and I had it listed for 88, and then I received an offer the next day for 55. Um, I didn't obviously make a huge gross profit, but because it had the flaw, I just went ahead and accepted it. I think I could have made more, but I just went ahead and accepted the offer the next day for 55, which gave me a gross profit of $8.28. But I just want to mention that, actually, it not only had the flaw, but it was also missing the size tag. So I had to approximate the size, which isn't a huge issue, but with those two things combined, I definitely listed it lower. But with that style of dress, if it's in excellent condition, it can easily go for over $100. And Reformation formal wear just does really, really well. So, um, and sells quickly. So I just want to mention that. But that was still a good sale. I got um, my money back and then some very, very fast. The next was another reseller favorite brand. One of my favorite brands, Patagonia. And this wasn't a, an exciting piece by any means. It's just a Capoline base layer, which is something I love selling by Patagonia. It doesn't sell for a ton of money, but it sells very consistently for me, and I find it very often at the bins here. Um, and so my cost of goods on this was 92 cents from the bins. I listed it for 28, and it sold for 19 on Poshmark with a gross profit of $12.56. And yeah, sold in just one 
day. The next is a pair of pants that sold this week. So actually it will be featured in next week's Ship With Me video. And it is a pair of new tag, the Frankie Shop cargo pants. I got these at Crossroads, a buy sell trade store here in Portland. I paid $33.51 for them. I listed them for 100 and then received an offer for 65 the next day, which I went ahead and accepted, which gave me a gross profit of only $16.77. But again, I was very actually happy with the sale because it sold so quickly. Okay, so the next was actually something that had been returned. So after I relisted it, I had been sitting in my office for a long time, it sold very fast. So it was this new attack, Noise Nora Hooded Parka. Um, I had $15 into this and I listed it for $145 and it sold the next day for $101, which gave me a gross profit of $61.30. And yeah, it sold in one day. Noise, N O I Z E, is a brand I didn't know about before doing liquidation, but I think it's an outerwear brand that can do really well. So um, I would, if you come across it, definitely recommend checking comps. Okay, the next sale was actually something that I was on the fence about picking up at the bins, but it was a new tag and after checking comps, I decided, hey, let's go ahead and just try it out. It was this new tag Louis Raphael mini herringbone slim dress pant in gray, size 32. I got it at the bins for $1.09 and I listed it for 38 and it sold for 25 in one day. So they gave me a gross profit of $17.19. This is a brand that doesn't retail for a ton of money, but found it new with tag and uh, went ahead and tried it out and it paid off. So I thought I'd just go ahead and let y'all know in case you come across this brand new with tag. Okay, so the next sale is actually something that I purchased for Billy Lou, but then I accidentally dropped it off at the office and then by the time that I remembered to go get it. She'd already outgrown this size. So <laughs> it was a new tag, Burt's Bees Organic Cotton Footy in the three to six month. And I spent $3.99 on it at Goodwill. And it sold on Mercari really fast. I listed it for 15 and it sold for $12. So that only gave me a gross profit of $1.61. So it's definitely not something I would recommend you going out and buying, you know, new tag Burt's Bees onesies for, uh, four dollars, but maybe if you come across them at the bins, it would be a good idea to pick that up because it sold really, really fast. It just doesn't retail for that much. Um, another, if you did come across at the bins, another great way to make a quick buck on it is to just take it to a kids' consignment shop. Okay, next is a new without tags Good American Good Waste Ponty Pant. These sold actually recently. Um, I had them listed for $67 and they sold for $47. Not all Good American does super well and certainly not all of it sells fast, but certain styles do and for whatever reason, the Ponty Pant seems to have done really well and it was a size 16 which also helped and that gave me a gross profit of $29.88 and yeah, it sold in just one day. So very happy with that. The next sale is a swimwear brand that is a boa brand and it is Beach Bunny. Uh, this was a new without tags Beach Bunny uh, bikini bottoms in neon pink that I had listed for 65 and it sold for 30% off for 45 with discounted shipping, which gave me a gross profit of $28.28. And yeah, sold next day. Okay, this was a really good men's bolo brand that I came across at the bins that I didn't know about and it is Muggsy. Uh, these were Muggsy Morgan's Chino pants. I know about it and I'm glad I came across it. I got them at the bins for a dollar and eight cents. I had them listed for 50 and received an offer for 42 the next day after listing, which gave me a gross profit of $30.80, which is really, really great. So I was really happy with that sale. If I ever come across Muggsy again, I'm definitely going to pick it up. And then this is actually another piece from um, that thrift with me and it will also show up in that ship with me video next week and it was this pair of mother the high-waisted looker jeans in a size 29 that i got at goodwill for 19.99 had them listed for 75 and they sold with a posture va 30 percent off offer for 52 with discounted shipping that gave me a gross profit of 19.89 cents 
love Selling Mother. I really, really love Selling Mother. Even older styles, I'll still pick them up. Okay, the next three sales on this list of things that sold in just one day are all Lululemon. Love Lululemon. So the first is this At Ease hoodie, and which is really cute. And I got it at the bins for $1.12. Um, it was a size extra, extra large in excellent, excellent condition. Listed it for 90, sold for 62 the next day. Um, someone actually was trying to get me to go lower, but I refused to go lower because I just listed it. And yeah, that gave me a gross profit at $46.76. Next was a pair of Lululemon aligned joggers. I actually really wanted to keep these or was thinking about it because I really like the jogger style, um, but they sold super fast. And I listed it from 70 and received an offer for 45, which I accepted, which gave me a gross profit of $33.49, which is great. And then a pair of Lululemon Align leggings uh, and a size six that I uh, got also at the bins. All of these are at the bins for 92 cents. I listed those for 45 and they sold for $31.00. And that gave me a gross profit of $22.16. The Align line within Lululemon just does really well. It's a super soft, stretchy fabric. If you ever come across it um, in, in excellent condition or good condition, I would recommend picking it up. Okay, next was a J. Crew origami sheath dress. This is what I mean. It's 100% wool, but this is what I mean in that um, kind of workwear by J. Crew is really surprising me these days. So this I got at the bins for 86 cents. I listed it for 35 and it sold next day for 30% off for 24 bucks, which gave me a gross profit of $16.62, which I'll take all day long. So I'm gonna continue to pick up a J. Crew. That was a size two as well. So just a really good sale. I'm happy with how J. Crew is doing. Another brand I'm really happy with is Free People. I'm having some really good Free People sales recently. So the first is this Free People We The Free V-neck ruched long sleeve shirt in a sage light green, which I got at the bins for a dollar and four cents. I had it listed for $32 and it sold on Mercari for $24 the next day, which gave me a gross profit of $15.59. Uh, that was really cute and just a really easy thing to pick up at the bins that sold fast. Next, and this is a really good style to know, is this Free People Easy Street Tunic Sweater. A really great pickup at the bins for $1.09. I listed for $85, sold the next day for $59. And that gave me a gross profit of $44.39. Super happy with that sale. And then uh, this Eileen Fisher shawl collar short sleeve cardigan, which um, I had gotten at the bins for $0.79. Cents. I love picking up Eileen Fisher at the bins. And I listed it for $40. It sold for $28, which gave me a gross profit of $19.89. Sold next day. Similarly, uh, this Bowden Richmond pencil skirt in a size 16 long I got at the bins for a dollar and nine cents and I also listed it for 40 it also sold for 28 so that gave me a gross profit of nineteen dollars and 59 cents but yeah all those brands I just went over J Crew, Free People, Eileen Fisher, Bowden uh, they are all bread and butter brands that I love picking up and just are selling quickly if I can get the right style. So next is another bread and butter brand and it is Barefoot Dreams. I'm still having pretty good luck with Barefoot Dreams in certain styles. Sometimes certain things sit longer, but I find um, certain colors and certain sizes do well. So this was a Barefoot Dreams, a cozy chic hooded cardi in this really pretty mint color uh, that I got at the bins for a dollar and nine cents. It was in excellent condition. I had it listed for 58 and it sold in a bundle for $34.67, which gave me a gross profit of $25.78. So I still love picking up Barefoot Dreams, especially at the bins. But again, some pieces, especially like extra small, small pieces, uh, can sit longer. So we are almost done with the items that sold in one day. I only have two that sold same day. So um, we're getting close to the end of this video. But um, the next one is 
again athleta salutation jogger this particular style just does really well by athleta and then a size medium is another one i was really considering keeping i actually did keep a jogger pant recently uh, that i got from lululemon at the bins and i used it to travel uh, when i went back to woodshop anyway i got these from the bins for a dollar and i uh, had a listed for 55 and they sold for 36 over on Poshmark, which gave me a gross profit of $26.08. And yeah, sold in a day. And then the last one and that sold within just one day was this pair of seven for all mankind, the skinny bootcut jeans. Surprisingly, I this is not a brand I am definitely like on the lookout for, but it sold really well. So maybe I'll start picking up more and more. Uh, it, I I got it at the bins for a dollar and four cents, listed it for 32 and it sold for 22 the next day, which gave me a gross profit of $14.84. Okay, so the two pieces that sold same day for me this year were, as one was actually a return, um, and so I listed it and it sold again, which is always nice. And it was a new without tags UGG essential boot in black, size seven. I had listed these for 90 and then I received an offer for 52 which I accepted which gave me a gross profit of $34.61. Uggs are just selling really well still so definitely a brand to be on the lookout for and something that I love selling. And then my last sale on this list uh, that sold the same day was my tried and true Lululemon. <laughs> a line of pants and these were in black size 10 i spent a dollar on these at the bins listed them for 70 received an offer for 50 which i accepted and that gave me a gross profit of 37 dollars and 28 cents sold same day so that's everything this year that is sold in three days or less but let me know look over your sales and if anything surprises you or if there are any sales that you want to share that sold super fast i would love 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 to read um, about it in the comments because i love reading y'all's comments and i oh i said this in the ship with me video but i need to say it again here if you watched my ship with me video that came out this week so the one where i cried and you left a kind comment thank you thank you so 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 much I, it really means the world to me reading through all the comments this morning and i was crying or tearing up just reading through them all and i was like okay i can't i can't break into tears again but um but a lot of the comments were just so so kind and encouraging and supportive and heartfelt and um it just it really really means the world to me so thank you so so much if you left a comment on that video i really appreciate it and it just really made me feel um i don't know like feel a little bit better about everything that's going on with me right now so and I know everyone goes through periods of hardship like this. Uh, this is just, at least in my life thus far, probably the hardest. So um, I know I'll get through it, but it just, it sucks. So, um, but, you know, there's also Billy Lou, who is so, so cute. And there's a business that I'm actually really excited about running again by myself. Um, I'm having fun in the office and I, I don't know, I'm excited about starting a podcast about it all. So there are definitely things to look forward to and really cool things happening. So anyways, well, in my ramble here, I just wanted to say thank you if you did comment on that video. But yeah, let me know what's selling fast for you in 2023 and I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay. Love y'all. Bye.